Tasers rapidly seem to be becoming one of the worst inventions ever. Taser use often causes a lot of damage and that's acknowledged by the manufacturers of tasers. Cases of people killed or injured by police on the basis of skin tone often make the news. There is less attention for deaths or injuries caused by police violence against people who are deaf, have a learning disability, are autistic, or were, for example, abused as a child. But there is overlap. In this context, taser use often stands out as particularly problematic. But taser use may be problematic by nature, not just when used against people with brain-related or psychological conditions. Of the hundreds and hundreds of taser incidents I've reviewed over the years, in jails and prisons, I can count on one hand when it was used appropriately. This is what Steve Martin said, a US Justice Department consultant. A case can be made for banning taser use by police completely. Note that this is not in any way intended as a statement in favor of gun use by police. There are many instances in which police use excessive and unwarranted force against people who are, for example, autistic, who have gone missing, who happen to be schizophrenic or are deaf, and do not respond the way police officers expect and want them to. That's shocking enough. Even more shocking is the role of police in healthcare. That's like having police officers help with heart surgeries. On 6 September 2018, Dutch daily Trouw prominently featured a lot of anger about a human rights violation on its front page. Not only had Dutch police tasered a patient in so-called drive-stun mode, pain compliance, the patient in question already was in solitary confinement. This is torture, Amnesty International said and organizations of patients and their relatives concurred. According to the Dutch newspaper, the taser's manufacturer actually advises against taser use on psychiatric patients, and Amnesty believes taser use may actually be life-threatening in such cases. This was likely the first time a taser was used to subdue a hospitalized psychiatric patient in the Netherlands, where 300 police officers were testing tasers at the time. The following appears to have transpired. On 17 July 2018, police officers were called to a hospital in Capelle aan de IJssel. A male patient in his 20s was having a psychotic episode. He was having a bad day, apparently, and had refused to take his antipsychotic medicines. Rotterdam police were first called to force the patient into solitary confinement. That's done to reduce sensory input and calm the patient down. In the evening, police were called again, for unknown reasons. And that's when the tasering occurred. The patient's mother, Marijke Bos, found out about the incident a few days later during a visit on her son's birthday. He had dark bruises under his eyes, several bruises on one of his hips, and roughly 30 small taser-related lesions on his back. The patient had also been tasered on one of his feet. The patient's mother has filed several formal complaints. The hospital staff reportedly was also extremely dismayed about the taser use. When Dutch police are called to a hospital for a problem with a patient, police take over responsibility. That makes no sense. Police officers have no place in healthcare. Solitary confinement in itself can be damaging and can also be seen as a human rights violation, of course. Tasering a patient who is already in solitary confinement and therefore clearly no danger to anyone else is use of excessive force to accomplish... What exactly? The Dutch taser incident raised my curiosity and I briefly looked into taser use in other countries. What I found is worrisome. These problems also occur in other countries and it goes beyond tasers. Earlier in 2018, New Zealand police used a taser on a mentally ill man as well. It was the country's second case that year in which the taser use against a mentally ill person was later ruled excessive and unjustified. Police had told a 21-year-old that he would need to be strip-searched, but the man kept refusing to remove his clothes and told the officers that he had a history of sexual abuse and did not feel comfortable being touched by males. 
So he got tasered. So he got tasered? In Britain, taser use against patients in hospital has already been around for more than 10 years. The consensus appears to be that this is a big no-no. So why is it happening? By contrast, five Texas police departments completely banned tasers in 2013. In an article in The Guardian in 2016, Matilda McAtram, McAtram, director of Black Mental Health UK, felt the need to emphasize that there is no role for police in mental health care. I agree. In Britain, the death of Olaseni Lewis caused a shock and some change. He died in September 2010 after being restrained by 11 police officers at Bethlehem Royal Hospital in South East London without being tasered. It led to Seni's Law, Patient Restraint Law, Seni's Law, which received royal assent on 1 November 2018. There have been other Seni's, people who died after excessive police force, often literally being suffocated. Between 2003, when tasers were introduced in Britain, and 2016, there have been at least 17 taser-related deaths. Racism appears to play a major role in taser use, and there never seems to be a purpose for it other than that it makes officers feel good about themselves. In Britain, black people are three times more likely to be tasered, according to a BBC article from October 2015. In 2016, an ex-soccer player died in the UK after police used a taser on him. And yes, he was black. In 2017, police tasered its own race relations advisor in front of his home in Bristol, England, because he fit the description of a suspect that they wanted to talk with. In a video of the incident, you can hear one of the officers say, you look familiar. And yes, he was black. A female police officer tasered him for no other reason than that the man wanted to go into his own yard and did not want police to follow him there. This was clear abuse. The only purpose was to get the man lying on the ground for no reason whatsoever. In court, the police officer was not found guilty of assault, but it was. On the 1st of February 2018, Metro UK headlined CCTV shoots down police who tasered autistic man. This incident, in which an autistic man was tasered, also involved Bristol police in England. The victim's mother uncovered CCTV that contradicted police statements. And Jordan Bagley died in 2013 after taser use and restraint. The use of the taser by Greater Manchester Police was ruled not reasonable and failings by police officers had contributed to his death. The officer involved had held the trigger overruling the automatic 5 second deployment. This may mean that police may have a great need for anger management courses, if you ask me. In March 2011, Kingsley Burrell, a trainee security guard, called police in Birmingham about a disturbance. He was subjected to prolonged restraint and sectioned. A blanket was put over his head. He died a few days later from cardiac arrest. The restraint had been a factor. And yes, he was black. In November 2018, Mr. Burrell's surviving family members stated that they want the three officers involved who were accused of misconduct to be dismissed. They were previously cleared of perjury and perverting the course of justice. In 2018, an 86-year-old man in the US received a $900,000 settlement in a taser case. The man fell, hit his head on a pavement, suffered a broken nose, he spent several weeks in intensive care in a medically induced coma because of bleeding on the brain. In the police report, officers argued that the tasering was done to prevent the man from being struck down by passing traffic. Wow! Dashcam video contradicted that. Take home points? Tasers appear to serve only one purpose. Tasers often appear to make police officers feel good about being able to knock people out and hurt them for no reason at all. It's just nice, apparently, to see people squirm on the floor. If police were able to function well without tasers before, then they can also continue to function well without tasers. Police have no place in healthcare. Tasers have no place in healthcare.